Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today we're going to talk about the new Mini 1.1 update. Yes, the Mini has come out with an update, or it's the first update for the Mini, and we're going to get right to this. I have a Mini right here in front of me, and you can see the screen right here on the right-hand side. You can see where it says Version. This is where you can see that now there's an upgrade available. So we're going to select this. It's going to tell you exactly what's in here. USB webcam out. It supports outputting both video and audio to a laptop. Next up, web URL overlay. You can add a web page of live graphics platform to use as an overlay. And I'm going to cover this in another video. So stay tuned, subscribe, all those fun things. Reusing a project setting. That is a fantastic feature to, to build something and then duplicate it and then duplicate it. That is a great feature to let you create multiple shows and switch between them. So if you have multiple different, let's just say sporting events, if you have multiple different sporting events, you're doing soccer in the afternoon and you're doing football in the evening or baseball or whatever, you can have all of your scoring templates, your lower thirds, your uh, graphics and things like that for soccer versus baseball versus basketball and then just duplicate those events and go between each of those preset events with everything already built fantastic feature now coming to the mini next up is do 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 Two new graphic overlays, titles, and social overlays with built-in templates, as well as animated GIF overlay support, and you can adjust the transparency for countdown timer overlay. Each of these are directly related to titles and overlays, so we'll kind of get into that once we do the update. So with this, I am going to install the update, it's going to download the update, and then we are going to install it. All right now you can see at the bottom we're on the latest version 1.1 and let us go in here so i've got my shows here and now there's these three dots right up here and right over here so you can click on the three dots and you can see i can duplicate and delete so duplicate my show create a new show And that's how you do it. And that's how you can have multiple shows. So you've got your baseball. You can create masters. You can just call it master baseball, master soccer, master uh, hockey, whatever. And then just duplicate the date. And then so here's today's show. Here's today's show. Here's today's show. Here's today's show. And that way you can create your master and then always create a duplicate for the stream of that event. And you have those masters always available. That is a fantastic feature, finally available on the Mini. Great job. Let's look at these graphic overlays. So I'm actually just going to jump into monitor mode here. This is the monitor from the YOLO box. I have a little webcam down here. You can tell that it's just not as good a camera as my normal camera. We're going to bring on, I could bring on program out. So you see just the program, but we are going to leave the overlays on so that you can see what I'm doing in the mini itself. I have to remember to look at the other camera, not my main camera. So down here, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's get back out of that. You have your overlays. Now, with your title overlay, you can see this. We're going to hold on that. We're going to write. Now, you can have background music. Very cool. And then in addition to that, you can change the dimming color for the background. So we can add like a, a light white and then adjust the transparency so you can have this kind of like in the corner of your show and it's counting down you can have people talking and everything but they can see that you've got this countdown timer you're not fully up and running yet that's one of the great features of this now technically also if you just wanted to have this over a static still of what you've got coming up you could do that and you could also Make it completely opaque. Change all the colors. Done. There's my countdown timer. You can see it's actually now counting down. So this is the actual program. It doesn't have this dark area over here. You can see this is affected with the color and you've got the countdown 
but it's translucent now, which is a great feature. Do, do, do. We're going to go into here and we're going to turn that off. Another feature that's been added to the mini is the ability to pull a website into the mini from the web directly and put it as an overlay source. Now, you need to test this ahead of time because not every website is going to be compatible. It's not an issue with the mini per se, but it's an issue with the fact that with everybody worried about everyone else's rights and tracking and cookies and everything, a lot of these websites throw up an alert over the screen and say, do you approve the use of your tracking cookies? You've seen them, you've clicked on them and everything. Well, there's you don't have a mouse to click that in the mini. So test your website that you wanna bring up as an overlay before you do it. I have one here. It's, oh, I got it right, right here. I have loaded a, a site called Mentimeter. And what it does is it's for polling. Now, if I click on this and hold and do the adjustments for the settings, you can see I can adjust the width of how this looks. You can see that it comes up with the label. It comes up with my poll picture, but the poll is actually below that. I can adjust the height of the image. I can scale everything way down and you just, but you can't get to the actual poll. So, you know, you really have to experiment with the websites to make sure that this feature is going to work for what you want to do. Not every website is going to be compliant with what you're trying to do on the web overlay capability. So test it and work it out ahead of time. Next up is animated GIFs. And let's go back over here. You can see image overlays. I have this animated world done. And so now it's actually playing. And if I was ha if I can find something that is related to the type of show that I'm doing or you can build an animated GIF yourself, you can put this on the screen and it's and it's just going to play right there that's now part of the show and it's an overlay i'm i'm technically behind it so this could be everywhere you could even put it right there but that is a cool way to let's just say you could make something with advertisers and have it cycle between different advertisers every few seconds and just have that thing constantly playing in the corner. That is a great add-on to have this animated GIF overlay. Done. So I've got, let's get rid of this one. So I add my animated GIF. There it is. It's on. You know what? I'm going to add another one. I have added balloons. Done. And this is just an example of, you know, some of the stuff that this is, this is one that's available out there done. And so if somebody wins an award, I can just tap that and yay, they get balloons and, you know, the balloons go away. I'm going to turn it off now and turn off my little globe. And another really useful feature for the mini is social media overlays. People have asked for this and now it's in the mini. Let's go back into the mini here. Let's go to our overlays. We'll actually get rid of these GIFs so we can clear up some space. Add social media overlays. And when you click on this, you can determine what social media you want to use. Do you want to use Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, or something else? So if I was doing um, YouTube, now I could type in my at name. Done. Choose the font, text size, scale for the whole thing. And then of course, grabbing it and positioning it wherever you want it on the screen, usually in the bottom. But then also remember that sometimes there's other things going on along the bottom when people are browsing this on the web. So there may be ads and other things if they're watching it on YouTube. Um, there may be ads and other things popping up. So maybe you want to have this pop up up here. That's why YouTube pops things up at the top of the screen because there's overlays and ads across the bottom. So be aware of the platform you're using when you're trying to figure out where you're gonna put your overlay. 
done. Fade it on, fade it off. The last thing I want to talk about is the title overlays, the big screen title overlays. Let's go back in. We're going to add one. Here we go, titles. So now your big welcome to the show. You can have this over the whole, oh, I'm on this, this camera now. You can have this over the whole screen. You can change your text. Hey, I can't even type. Hey there, I'm trying to try H E Y T H E U E R A. Hey there, done, done. And then when you bring it up, you can have, hey there, you know, for having different segments in your show, uh, halftime for sports or pre-show or show will begin at 12 p.m. or full, anything full screen like that. And of course, you can have your overlay, your countdown timer as well. So just layering things on top of each other. That is just something that you can do with the mini, with the new 1.1 update. So that has been a quick look at the 1.1 update for the YOLO Live Mini. Lots of great little tweaks and features that make that just even more usable. The transparency for the countdown, and you can move it around, the animated GIF overlay for lower thirds, bugs, whatever you want to use it for, it's now possible in the Mini. The two new graphic overlays for titles and the social media overlays, remember where you put them, and reusing the project setting is a fantastic new feature that I, I knew as soon as the Mini came out, this needs to have this because if you're doing sports or anything where you need to constantly come up with a new stream based on a template, that ability to duplicate the project is going to be critical. And now it's available in the Mini. My name is Anthony Barocas for YOLO Live. Thanks for watching.